Okay, today we're going to look at configuring a second network adapter on Ubuntu server version 18.04 and in this case we're going to be looking at a newish concept from Ubuntu for configuring of network adapters and this is called NetPlan. Okay, so a couple of small things first of all. There are two versions of Ubuntu server. A local ISO which basically has a configuration file called o1-netcfg.yaml in the NetPlan directory. There's also a cloud image, and the cloud image basically has a different file called 50-cloud-init.yaml. So if you have this file in your NetPlan folder, there's a couple of steps that you need to do to basically disable it, and then create the 01 netcfg directory, or um, YAML file. Okay, so first of all, and you can see here I've got Notepad with a list of steps that we'll be going through as we work our way down through this. Um, so hopefully by the end of it you will be able to follow these down and basically configure your O1 NetCFG YAML file so that you detect your second network adapter. First thing we want to do here is we need to log in and I'm logging in with a standard user account and that user account is basically going to require me to run sudo when I run my commands. So the first thing we want to figure out is what adapters do we actually have so IP space A will give you a list of all your adapters and you can see here that we currently have adapter 1 which is a loopback adapter which we can ignore. Our second adapter ENP0S3 is the one we've configured for DHCP to go out to the internet and you can see it's got an IP address 10.0.2.15/24 which is coming from VirtualBox because it's configured for NAT. The third adapter, EMP0S8, on the other hand, is configured in VirtualBox for internal use only. And we don't have a DHCP server, so it is not configured. So we need to then step our way down through. But the point here is that we need to note that EMP0S8, in my case, is the adapter we want to configure. Those adapter names might be different depending on your environment. So you need to take a note of which adapter it is that you want to change. In my case, EMP0S8. Okay, we can first of all check whether we have this O1-netcfg file or the 50-config file. Okay, so if we do an ls forward slash uh, etsy forward slash netplan, we can see the files that are in there. And you can see that my one has 50-cloudnet.yaml. This is the one that we want to disable. Okay because it's really a link file to another service and we want to disable the system reading this file. So, over here on the right hand side, you can see where I have put in all the various commands, okay? So, the first one we're going to run is basically, we're going to generate a new file called 99 disabled network config.cfg, and into it, we're going to put one line, which is going to tell it to disable the configuration. Once we've done that, we're then down to configuring the 01 netcfg file. If you don't have this 50-cloudnit file, you can jump straight down here to configuring the actual net config file. If you have the 50, then there's a couple of steps that we need to do first of all. So the one of the first steps we need to do is we need to disable the system from reading this 50 cloud init file. We do that by going sudo nano because we're going to create a new text file which we're going to add one single line to. The location of the original configuration file is etsy cloud cloud config.d. Now be careful, there is a cloud.config file in that directory. We don't want to do that. We want to go to another directory, which is cfg.d. And in there, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call the file 99-disable-network-config.cfg for our configuration file. Okay. It's going to ask for the password because we're using sudo and we're into this empty file. Over here on Notepad, you can see I've added in the line that we're going to use. And what we're going to do is go network colon and in curly braces, not round braces, and in curly braces, we are going to disable configuration. You'll note that everything has a colon, so we want to configure the network. We want to configure the configuration for the network. Okay. So back over here, we're going to type in simply network colon space, okay, followed by curly braces config colon space 
disabled and be careful you're using spaces and not tabs okay so network colon config colon disabled within curly braces once we've done that we can go control x it will prompt us to save the file we can save the file and we can save the file out okay we now have that disabled the next thing we need to do is we need to rename the existing 50.cloud init file to the 01 netcfg file however before we rename it I would suggest that you do a copy so if we do sudo cp forward slash etsy forward slash netplan forward slash 50 dash cloud init dot yaml and we're going to copy it to the same location so it'll be etsy forward slash netplan forward slash 50 but at the end of the file yaml i'm going to go back a space and i'm going to go dot old so i now have an, uh, two versions of the file if i want to i can go ls space etsy forward slash netplan forward slash enter and you can see i've got two files the original init file and an old version of the init file we are now going to go down and we're going to rename this file to do that we go sudo space forward slash etsy forward slash netplan forward slash 50 and it's the original file that we want oh i got that right in there sorry sudo i forgot to put my command in to rename it we go mv which is move basically but we're going to move it to a different name okay so 50 dot yaml okay i'm not going anywhere near the dot old file just the yaml file and what am i going to rename it to and again make sure you put in your path that you are going to create the copy in and i'm going to call this one 01 dash net cfg dot cfg okay and again if you're unsure go back to the word document sorry not cfg yaml uh go back to the word document and have a look and there's the file 01 dash netcfg.yaml okay once you've done that and press return that is renamed the file we can go back up and check what's in the netplan folder and you can see you've got a file 01 dash netcfg.yaml and you still have your old file in there okay if we want to see the contents of the uh, 01 netcfg very quickly we can go cat etsy netplan forward slash 01 net cfg and we can output it to screen and you can see that it has an entry for emp 0 s 3 and it's telling it to use dhcp but it has no entry for emp 0 s 8 so i'm going to clear that screen because we're going to basically work our way down to configuring the 01 net cfg file okay to configure the 01 uh, net cfg file we simply do the same thing we're going to edit it using text editor nano and we're going to add the additional entries that we need for this itself okay so basically if we come back to ubuntu and we basically go um sudo space nano forward slash etsy forward slash netplan forward slash 01 oops netcfg.yaml and we can see we're into that file these top lines are all commented out so make sure you leave those hash in there to comment those out um, and basically you can see now now one word of warning everything in here is a space there are no tabs and if you do tab it you will not get it to work I generally run on the principle that uh, under each layer I in, indent by two spaces okay it seems to work the best way I do it however I have had some issues with the last line version so what I generally do with version is I'll go version colon 2 just after network and I take it out down at the bottom okay now we want to configure uh, our EMP 0 S8 okay so basically I'm going back to the end of true for the first adapter I'm spacing across and I'm going directly under the first adapter and I'm going ENP 0 S8 colon okay and then pressing return on that I'm spacing across to under DHCP okay 
and I'm going DHCP4 being IP version 4 and basically space no so I'm telling it not to use DHCP okay press and return and I'm then coming across and now I'm going to add my information so basically I am going to add addresses ADDRESSES colon remember the colon says this is what you want to configure space open square bracket and in there I'm going to type in my IP address that I want to use for the static IP address forward slash the subnet mask now you don't type in 255 you type in slash 24 16 whatever it is that you're using close square bracket okay press return and use my space bar to come across again okay and under that I'm going to go with gateway four colon space 192.168.100.1 in my example I'm then going to come across to name servers and again I did say I used two spaces so I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to go name servers colon oops space and after name servers colon just press return because on the next line you're actually going to type in the actual IP address themselves okay and I'm going to go with addresses so again YAML files are very um, tweaky in relation to um, spaces and tabs okay and this may even throw up an error I may need to go back and reconfigure this okay addresses space and in square brackets again I'm going to put in the DNS servers okay 192.168.100.1 and if I want a second DNS server I simply go comma and for example 8.8.8.8 now obviously that's not going to work for us because this is all internal but it just shows you a comma separated list will work on all these okay so if we go back on it we're saying we're configuring the network we're using version 2 it's for Ethernet adapters the first adapter ENP0S3 is DHCP4 true the second adapter ENP0S8 is DHCP false or no the addresses that I'm going to include are 192.168.100.100 slash 24 in square brackets. The gateway 4 a colon says that it's 192.168.100.1. And my DNS servers or name servers have addresses of 192.168.100.1, comma 8.8.8.8. Once that's done, I can go control X to save the file, save the change file, press return. Okay. If I clear the screen then okay this is your test so sudo net plan space apply okay and it says inconsistent indentations under Ethernet and this is a common issue that you end up with so I'm gonna go back to sudo and nano on that again okay and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go with uh, Ethernet and I have en okay I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to this is where you trick around with this for a while and I'm just putting everything back in here for a second uh, so network version Ethernet I've got that there I've got DHCP let's see generally the message that comes up is when you do the apply is fairly clear okay Oops. I'm gonna go two there. Gateway is there, addresses is there, DHCP is there. I've got my okay, actually. Take that out of there. Okay, so basically I've got and actually maybe I'll just go back. So I've got two spaces there, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, back over two, and then two, 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 two and two okay it can be just tweaky um, the way it does it I generally just stick with two spaces save my changes press return do net plan space apply and see do we get an error and it's still telling me I've got the same thing now you can see this it says Ethernet's colon and then it's got a little card underneath it so it's telling me the issue exists under the Ethernet okay so again this is just where you go and you play with this for a little while 
So I'm going to come to that. Okay. I'm just going to make sure there's no spaces. And I'm going to space this across. And let's see. Is there anything else? Sometimes this works first time for you, sometimes you play with it and it can just be a bit of a pain in the neck. And, let me try plug. and there we go. Okay. So but looking at it, it looked to me like uh, the way I had it, first of all, the network, the very first line, didn't have two spaces for version 2 and then Ethernet didn't come underneath version 2. So it's really just a case of getting it signified and once you get it done, it's it's fine. Now, how can we prove that all that is working? Okay, we can try it this way. We can go IP space A. And now, when we look at our adapter tree EMP zero SH, you can see that it's got one nine two one set one dot one hundred. But also, you'll see that if you just go up to where it says number three there, EMP zero SH. If you go across on the right hand side, you'll see the state of the adapter is up, the same as the um, EMP zero S tree. That's what we want to see, and that's the end of that. Okay. There's also another command you can run: sudo space netplan space try. And what this tries to do for you is it says um, stopping the system D dash network D dash service or dot service. And again, the D is your daemon service as such. It can still be activated by running this. Do you want to keep these settings? It says press enter before a timeout to accept a new configuration. Changes will revert in 103 seconds. So basically, if I'm happy that this looks okay uh, and there's no errors, it will show up errors. The only thing is it doesn't give you the same kind of information as the other errors. So basically, I'm going to go, yeah, press return that. It's accepted. Do an IP space A and you can see everything is there. So it's just a case of playing with it for a while. And once you play with it for a while, test it out, it should all work then. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense everybody and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.